guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be starting my hair off freshly washed. Then I'm going to part my hair into four sections. And just to let you guys know, I did lose some hair in the middle of my scalp and it's just now growing back. I'm going to go ahead and add my Alicay Naturals Leave-In Conditioner and then I'm just going to start detangling all of the sections of my hair. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to part my hair into small sections and then I'm going to get my 24 edge control and then I'm going to smooth that on in the edges of my hair so that it could be neat when I place the rubber bands on it. And then all I'm doing is just adding the rubber band on that one section. Guys, I recommend that you not tie your hair so tight because it could be uncomfortable when you have the hair placed on there. So just make sure the rubber band is secure but not too tight that it'll make your head hurt. So guys, this is how your hair is going to look when you section it off and place the rubber bands into the sections. So this is how my whole head is looking. My hair is very stretched as you can see. In some of the parts I got a little lazy, I'm not going to lie, but this is how it's looking. Okay guys, so I'm going to be using the Freetress Braid Crochet Hair in the Water Wave and this is 22 inches. So I'm going to be using black and then I'm going to be using brown hair. The black is 1B and the brown hair is 30. So they do have these in the beauty supply, but if you don't have any at your nearest beauty supply, you can get them on Amazon. So when you take your hair out the bag, this is how it's going to look. So I'm going to grab one section out of all of the hair and then I'm going to separate that section so that my hair could be full. So guys, I'll be focusing on one section. Then I'm going to insert the crochet needle inside of that section and I'm going to hook the crochet hair inside of the needle. After I make sure the hair is inside of the needle, I'm going to pull all the hair up. Hey guys, and I'm going to repeat this for you. So you're going to insert the crochet needle inside of the section, put the crochet hair inside of the needle, and then you're going to pull all the hair up. After that, you're going to want to make a loop hole. Then you're only going to grab one section of the hair and put that inside of the loophole. Now you're going to stretch the hair out. And I'm going to repeat that for you guys one more time. So I'm going to begin twisting and so there's no special technique you need in order to twist these You can twist these just like you're twisting your regular hair And guys, so I'll be using my design essentials mousse and then I'm going to actually use my edge control To twist with my real hair just so that the twist can be neat 
And guys, so this was my first time actually learning how to do these. So I had to go back and redo a lot of twists, but I did the very best that I could. So I hope you guys like this and thank you for watching. So if you have any questions, be sure to comment below and I will definitely answer them for you. Thank you.